What's going on, Mad Maniacs, and welcome back to Mad About Disney, uh, in episode two of the Flag series. I know it's it's been a little while. Uh, I've I've had a really busy last few months, um, but I'm in quarantine for the coronavirus. I don't have it, um, as far as I know, at least. Uh, obviously, uh, you never know. But um, yeah, so everyone's social distancing. So I'm home. So I'm gonna be recording another video for everyone today um so the way i figured this series could go you guys seem to like the first episode we designed flags for all four walt disney world resorts um i was thinking now maybe we could do some hotels uh, we will do some hotels um maybe the water parks at the end if that's something you guys want to see um maybe disney springs we could do water parks in disney springs an episode um and then we'll do one flag for the whole resort as kind of the finale for walt disney world flags and then we'll move over to disneyland uh, but today we're going to do some hotel flags um, and we're going to start with the monorail loop i feel like that's the most logical place to start as far as hotels so today we will be designing flags for the polynesian uh, village resort the grand floridian resort and the contemporary resort um, depending on time, I may or may not do Wilderness Lodge, uh, but we'll have to decide at the end. But if I don't, I will do it in a future episode, if it's something you guys want to see. Um, I loved last episode. You guys left a lot of feedback in the comments, stuff you liked, stuff you didn't like, which flags were your favorite. Uh, so, again, same thing for this episode. Let me know what you like and uh, what you want to see in the future, because, you know, this is just fun for me, but it's supposed to be fun for everybody here. Um, that's why I'm sharing it rather than just doing it for myself. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna go right around the monorail loop starting with the Grand Floridian All right, so I started here by looking up the Grand Floridian resort logo a very nice GF acrylic I don't know acrylic's not the right word a, a pattern. I I don't I don't know the right word there um, It's swirl swirly circly uh, So then I started going through I started playing with the colors a little bit I just cropped it out obviously changed the background color a little bit. So it's a slightly different design there um, then I started looking through more art, stuff like that, trying to get some inspiration. But I wanted to keep it pretty simple, pr pretty, you know, elegant, pretty eloquent. Um, so I found this cool swirly design, uh, you know, had to make some adjustments so that I could properly crop it out. But then I uh, cropped it out, added it to the, the border, and then uh, put some nice color on it. We'll fade it out a little bit in the background there. Um, yeah, and then I started playing around with different stuff, wanted to see what I could do to enhance the design a little bit, um, wanted to increase the, you know, the amount of depth of color while also keeping it a relatively simple design. I picked out this piece of concept art I really liked, um, the, for the Grand Floridian and started pulling colors from there, figured that way it would be true to the actual, you know, design of the building, the inspiration, the color schemes. Uh, I pulled the color for the roof from the design as well as the color for the background, which I shaded the tinted a little bit. And then I just wanted to go through, kind of, uh, adjust some of the, the background on the logo, make it pop a little bit more. Um, but, uh, I ended up playing with a few different designs. I debated doing two circles around the outside compared to doing one big circle. Um, ultimately, I decided that it would probably be the best idea to just cut out the outside circle um, completely and then expand on it a little bit. That way, um, the, it was a little bit wider of a design, a little bit more spacious, um, and I could make the lineup a little bit thicker to be more according to the thing. Alright guys, so um, I finished this up here. Uh, Grand Floridian is a very elegant resort. I wanted to keep it um, nice and clean. Um, there's a little bit of that swirly thing in the background there just to add a little bit more depth to the design. But I wanted to keep it relatively simple uh, with the Grand Floridian logo there, kind of represent the eloquence of the resort. Um, as you guys saw, I pulled in, uh, let me just pull it right back in here the uh this piece of concept art for the grand floridian um i used the colors from the sky for the background and then the roof um for the actual logo i love this this piece of art here by the way too um i debated pulling in this outside uh thing but i felt like that would have been too much i didn't want to overdo it um so yeah this is my design played around with the circle in the little uh, in the middle a little bit um, but other than that yeah now we're going to move on to the second resort around the monorail loop, which is the Polynesian Village. And this is the one I feel like I'm going to have the most fun with because, uh, yeah, there's a, uh, 
lot, lot I could do here, um, but I'm excited. It's my favorite resort, so I gotta do it good. All right, the Polynesian, my favorite hotel. I have to do it justice. Unfortunately, I, I, I did struggle with this one. Um, I really like this design here that I, I pulled from Google that had the, the main tiki guy, um, and I cropped that out. It took a little while, so I'm gonna just cut to the end of that crop. Once I got uh, that crop finished, um, I started looking through for some other patterns I could use. I really liked the, the triangles on this design here, um, so I was saving that in design. I originally was going to just crop it up, but then I was like, no, it'll be cleaner if I just replicate it myself. I started looking through some more images to see if there was something else I could uh, replicate there, um, but ultimately I decided that I just wanted to use the triangle design and kind of do my own version of it. Um, I felt like uh, that would be the best way to go about solving that. Um, so what I did is, this is me struggling with how Photoshop works and playing around with triangles and stuff like that. Um, but then I went through and I played around with the triangle tool, added some triangles and stuff like that. Um, ultimately, I'm not very good at Photoshop and I, I do this just for fun, not for any sort of professional anything, obviously. Um, I mainly just play around with stuff for YouTube. So um, I don't really know how stuff works. So sometimes I gotta play around with stuff like right now. As you can see, I'm, I'm clearly struggling with what is most likely a very basic tool. Um, and at the moment I couldn't just figure out how to add a, a basic border, but it's fine. I figured it out ultimately. Um, and then the triangles started being weird, as you can see there. I don't I don't even know what went wrong here. Um, it, 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 it just cut, it cut out a whole bunch of stuff and I, I don't know why, I don't know, I don't know what I did. Um, I started getting pretty annoyed, but then I started figuring out, I adjusted the triangle, blah, 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 and I started, finally, you're starting to see some semblance, semblance, it sounded like I added a Z there, semblance of any sort of design. I brought back in that other design I liked so I could model some of the colors off of it. Um, started playing around with the different colors I wanted in this design. Ultimately tried to copy it, and then look at that, the triangles started being weird again. Um, so I had to merge some layers, rasterize, is that how you say it? Rasterize? I don't know. Um, play with the layers a little bit so I could figure this out. Uh, and this is where things started getting a little bit weird for me. Um, as far as uh, not knowing what I wanted to do with the design, I played around with doing some sort of four-way design, um, didn't like that. So I put the, the main design back in the center, made it the color I wanted it, which is a little bit of a darker brown than the rest. Um, and then I started playing around with the colors. Um, I felt like um, I had pretty good color design there. I, I couldn't tell if I wanted to fill the space at the top and the bottom, uh, like you see me testing something out here, ultimately didn't like it. Um, so I decided to go back, um, play a little bit more with that main central design, see if I could add something um, that would look good. And then I had an idea to add some sort of water design to represent the fact that the Polynesian is on Seven Seas Lagoon and that water is very important to the resort. I'll explain more about that later as to why in my little description after. But um, I started recoloring some stuff testing some stuff out, ultimately had to go back and edit the lines again, which is great because I had so much fun with the lines the first time. Um, and, and then I, you know, I did some edits, made the lines blue on the bottom um, so that you could um, see better the division between the top and the bottom. Um, and what I was going for, I was going for like a water reflection sort of look. Um, I tried to blur it, and then I was like, no, nah, Mikey, that's stupid. Flags flags do not have blurs. Um, and, and I don't know what I was doing here. I think I played with the wrong... I played with the smudge tool. Um, but ultimately, um, I, I, I moved some stuff around, just made some edits so that I could properly show you guys the difference between my two versions. And essentially, I have two versions of this design, and I, I don't really know which one I like better. I have, like, the, the regular design, which is pretty simple color-wise, and then I have the water designs. You guys are gonna have to let me know which one you think is better, because I don't really know. Alright, so, um, that was something. Uh, I don't really know what I... I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself. Um, uh, I just felt like I could have done better here. So I have I have two two designs. I have so this one, which is just like a normal flag. Um, 
uh, yeah, it's got the design with the, uh, the Polynesian mascot, the Tiki guy, um, and then some lines there, um, I felt, you know, I felt, it's not bad, um, but I felt like I wanted to work the water in a little bit, I felt like water's a big part of the resort, there used to be a fountain in the lobby, um, they got the volcano water slide, and then the thing, uh, the resort is on the water, so then I came up with this, it's a little bit skewed here, but that's just so I could present the alternate version to you, but it, it's basically a, a, a water design, it's supposed to be like a reflection on the water, I don't hate it, but I feel like there's a lot going on, and I, I, I can't decide whether I like this design or this design better, um, I originally was going to blur the bottom part down there, um, but I felt like that didn't look very flag-like, flags aren't blurred, so then I kept it at a design like this. Um, yeah, I, I've got mixed feelings. I do, I have mixed feelings. Um, so let me know down in the comments or I might put a poll which one you prefer. Um, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards this one, uh, cause I feel like the, having a consistent color scheme kind of just brings everything together pretty well versus this one where it's, um, you know, it's obviously a little bit different. Um, but I, I'm leaving both both options are here so uh, let me know down in the comments um, and next video I will uh, I will come back to it uh, assuming that there's a pretty clear consensus among uh, you guys about which ones you guys like better um, also if you want further discussion on anything related to Disney or anything else uh, my discord link is down below it's a good time just figured I'd give it a quick shout out um, yeah, we have a good time on the Discord. Uh, it's free. Don't have to be a patron or anything like that. I don't have a Patreon page. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of creators will have a Patreon page. And if you um, donate to them, uh, you get access to the Discord. But um, yeah, mine's free. So if you want to join, link is down in the description. Come have a good time with us. And with that, we'll move on to... Our third and final one, don't think I'm going to do Wilderness Lodge today, just because the Polynesian one took longer than I expected. Um, but we're going to do the Contemporary, and I think I already have a general sense for what I want to do with this. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I, yeah, I thought I knew what I was doing with the Polynesian too, but that didn't work out either. But yeah, let's just roll right into Disney's Contemporary Resort. Alright, so for the Contemporary Resort, I did have a general idea for what I wanted to do. I wanted to use this logo that you can see here. Um, also, if it looks like I'm talking, that's because I was singing. Don't, don't judge me, alright? I've been working on Photoshop for an hour here. And while it is a little bit fun, I do start to get a little bored. Anyway, so I started looking at a few different designs. I started playing with some of the old Contemporary designs. Ultimately... Uh, I spent way too much time on this design, and it was ultimately not high enough quality, so I'm just going to cut to the end of that. Alright, so then I brought back the new logo, edited out the... Well, by new, I mean like the modern logo. That was like an 80s, I think, logo. Uh, but I brought back the modern logo, the one they currently use. Cut out the bits I didn't want. I didn't want that weird shadow thing, even though I ended up adding something similar. But that's spoilers. We don't talk about that yet. Um, and now is the part where I do so much different things that I don't really know if I like, I, I, and I end up cutting a lot of it out, I, I tried doing this thing where, and I was, I put it up top there so you could, I could compare the, the size of those ones to the last one, because I wanted to continue that little fade where it gets shorter as it goes along, and I, I tried it, um, I wanted to kind of fade out the lines there, but I, I didn't, I mean, ultimately I didn't really like it, for now I kept it there, um, look at my face. That's the face of concentration right there. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, it, it didn't really look right. I didn't really good, do a good job at warping it. I, I like the concept, but ultimately the design that I picked just didn't really, it didn't really work. Um, but then I went through, I played with the lines a little bit. I had to cut some stuff. This is just boring rectangular work I'm doing, you know? The good old boring rectangular work that one does when they're doing boring rectangular work. Um, 
but then I played with the lines a little bit more. I wanted to uh, create a sort of symmetrical design. So you'll see here I'm playing with the lines on the bottom and then I'm going to end up copying some stuff to the top. Oh, there it is. I did it right there. Wow, look at that. That was perfect timing on my voice over here. And then I ended up playing with the lines a little bit more, shaving off some odds and ends, and then moving the stuff around so that it looked all nice and neat. Tried to make it as somewhat symmetrical. So somewhat symmetrical as possible uh, I can't speak apparently but I started playing with the various lines to make everything look nice and neat I ended up cutting that line out completely because it wasn't thick enough so what I did is I went back up to the top as you'll see in a second here now oh, there it is and then I had to move that line so that it was the same thickness on the top and bottom because I really like when things look nice and symmetrical um, so, yeah, I played around with that, just made it, I think that was a rough cut there. Um, and then I really needed color, so I found this design online, um, that was a, a bit of a, a 90s, I think, 80s, 90s design. It used, used some turquoise and purple, uh, and I started layering those designs. Um, you'll see in a second here, I pull the actual logo off of Google, bring it in, and use the exact colors so that it is true to source. Uh, and then I started playing around with the spacing, um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this design. Uh, just other than adding a background, um, but yeah, that's it, pretty much. Um, okay, I'm done this one now. Um, yeah, um, hmm. uh, I got it in over my head, and I did stuff, and then I undid stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to include in what I just showed you guys. Ultimately, uh, I took the the main logo, which I'll pull up here. Give me a second. Uh, I took this logo, which is the main logo that they've had variants of for years. Uh, played with it, added some lines. Um, probably ultimately would move this line down a little bit, but I don't feel like going back now. Uh, and then uh, to play with the colors a little bit, um, I pulled in this logo here which um uses oh okay um which it has the main logo in the background but it uses these colors kind of overlapping i use them i don't know figured maybe it would give a little a little pop to the design i don't hate it it's very uh like 80 90s kind of i don't know uh, uh, of the three that I did, my favorite, uh, I don't know, they're all very different. This one was definitely the easiest, pretty clean cut, um, the, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm relatively happy with what I got, with what I got here, um, I'm still liking this, this design of the Polynesian one the best, but, uh, you guys let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been recording for uh, like an hour now, so probably gonna wrap it up now, but, uh, yeah, let me know which of the three you guys like the best down in the comments, I'm genuinely curious, so if you made it this far in the video, let me know, um, and let me know which of the two Polynesian ones you like better, um, but other than that, let me know what you guys want to see me do next as far as Disney flags. Probably do Wilderness Lodge at some point. Um, and then for the next episode, I'll probably either do... I was thinking either like the Boardwalk area, so like the Epcot Resort area. Boardwalk, Yacht Beach. Might do two different. Might do the same flag for them. You could do Swan and Dolphin, same thing. Two different flags, same flag. Um, or instead of that, I might do, uh, some of the value hotels. Uh, I would probably do like pop century and art of animation in one episode and then do all the all stars in another episode, maybe all of them in the same episode because the all stars I could probably like group together a little bit, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought of the flags down below. Uh, just a reminder, because I like to plug this stuff every once in a while, I do have Instagram and Twitter. Both of those links are down below, but they're also at MadABTDisney on both of those platforms. My Discord, like I said before, is down in the description. 
Um, go check out some of my other videos if you missed the first flag video. I'll put that link somewhere in one of the corners of uh, the earlier part of this video. Um, or you could just go to my playlist on my channel, find the flags playlist. Um, but yeah, that, that's all for now. Check out all the... Oh, I should plug. Um, in case you guys missed it, I started a new podcast with Matterhorn Matt called Bra Moments with Maddie and Mikey. Uh, the link to that will also be in the description. Uh, the link in the description is for YouTube, but it's also available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well as SoundCloud if you look up Bra Moments or Bra Moments with Maddie and Mikey. Um, yeah, we've done four episodes so far. It's a fun time. I highly, rec- bleh, I highly recommend watching to the end of episode three. Um, we do a segment called Random Product Review where we review random products it's it's kind of self self-explanatory but uh we did this product called thick water which is exactly what it th- sounds like which is thick water and our reactions are quite interesting so if you want to check that out link to that is in the description that shows a lot of fun I'm really loving doing that with matt but that's all for now i'll shut up now thanks for watching let me know blah 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 same stuff i've said i've said this stuff 10 times before um, I am doing a Q&A video also uh, sometime soon, um, so head over to my Twitter, my Discord, or my Instagram to submit your questions for Q&A, because I'm doing that sometime in the near fish future, so yeah, alright, but yeah, that's it, stay home, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video.